They might not look much like an ecological menace, but the cute grey squirrel causes huge amounts of damage to the British countryside. We don't object to individual animals, of course we love animals, but as a species, they're causing quite a lot of problems. Yeah. Um, Introduced from North America in the 1870s, greys carry the squirrel pox virus, which does them no harm, but is fatal to native red squirrels. People think of, of squirrels eating nuts, but they, they are, they'll eat other food as well, so they will eat birds' eggs, um, they will eat chicks in the nest sometimes if they find them. Um, they'll even find their way into nest boxes sometimes to get at the eggs and the chicks. The UK population of red squirrels used to be around 3.5 million, but since grey squirrels arrived in the UK, the number of reds has dropped to under 140,000, compared to a current estimate of 2.5 million greys. Grey squirrels are also a menace to trees. Between April and the end of July, they strip away at the bark, interrupting the sap flow, which causes many of them to die. Some trees like oak, sycamore and beech are so vulnerable to grey squirrels that many foresters simply won't bother planting them. New research in Yorkshire and Wales has found that oral contraceptives for squirrels are working. They have to push open a door. A the plan involves luring grey squirrels into feeding boxes using hazelnut spread spiked with contraceptives. People like grey squirrels, but I guarantee if you saw red squirrels you would find them even cuter. <laughs> but also, uh, the damage they do, we simply can't just left, let them go about their business unchecked. Culls of grey squirrels have long been unsuccessful. The hope is that this non-lethal plan means their red cousins are heading towards a brighter future. Chris Williams, ITV News, Gwent.